Good morning. Tell us uh, where you're from and who you represent, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm Chris Merrill. I'm the Executive Director of the Equality State Policy Center. And uh, thanks for the opportunity to talk to you today. Um, I submitted written testimony, so I'll keep my remarks brief today. Um, I, I just really want to thank this committee uh, for the thoughtful and deliberative approach you brought to uh, so many consequential decisions this year. Um, and thank you also for working hard since the onset of the pandemic to uh, in, improve transparency, try to ensure public involvement as much as possible, you know, as we transition to virtual meetings. Um, as outlined in my written comments, uh, the Equality State Policy Center supports delaying the full or abbreviated session, whatever it turns out being until later this spring. Um, you know, for all the reasons already mentioned this morning um, by, uh, by Mr. Obrecht and others, and especially, you know, for public safety, the health of our citizen legislators, LSO staff, Capitol staff, you know, Wyoming residents in general. Um, as I mentioned in my testimony in October, you know, um, I also have concerns about potential impacts on Cheyenne Regional Medical Center, creating a potential COVID surge right there in Cheyenne at the height of flu season. Um, and I guess this is on my mind, you know, speaking personally, my, my wife is an oncology nurse uh, here in Laramie, and um, they are already short-staffed now at the hospital here in Laramie and uh, she's worked she's worked eight straight going on nine straight days just because um, they need to cover cover shifts um, and so so I guess that's uh, one of the reasons that's on my mind um, you know I, I get the uh, I, I get the argument don't be ruled by fear I've heard that a lot um, but it just again in my case personally, if we had an in-person session in January, I wouldn't be able to go and do my job um, because I need I, I I can't be away from my family for that long and my and my kids, and so we have to be really cautious in our household about COVID because because of my wife's job and she's working with people who are uh, who are fighting for their lives, um, getting treatment for cancer and uh, and and we need to think about those those folks too, when we make these decisions. Uh, there are people who are going to beat cancer and, uh, and live decades with their family, people who love them. And we need to remember that there are vulnerable people. And uh, so when we, when, we, when we think through all of the, uh, these complicated issues, um, I, I, I wanna, uh, I, I just wanna, um, I just hope that we we keep we always keep in mind that that um, that that we have vulnerable people in our community who we care about and and we need to do right by them as well. So um, with that, I'll conclude my remarks and I'm happy to try to answer any questions if there are any. Thank you. Hey, well, thank you, uh, members of council. Any questions for Mr. Merrill? Okay, I'm looking and. Uh, 